I decided to be a physician when I was four or five years old, mostly because I realized my initials were M and D and I had a great grandfather and a great uncle that were physicians. But from a very young age, I was very interested in how the body worked from the inside. And then as I got older, I got interested in disease processes and what made people sick and what caused their life to end. And so I was drawn to pathology at a very young age. I'm one of those rare people that applied to medical school probably just to be a pathologist. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. Every day I get to look inside a person, figuring out what their disease is, what things can help treat their disease and then communicate that to the clinicians and then ensure them getting the correct treatment. When I first started at First Health, my first goal was to bring on what I felt was state-of-the-art technology for cytology, which is specifically the Hologic Thin Prep Cytopath system. With cytology, when you sample those patients, you're getting small amounts of cells and tissue and we can use the thin prep and hologic technology we have in the lab to then prepare that tissue to then get molecular testing. And when you think about the future of cancer care, what we're trying to do is get as much information for patients from as little tissue as possible to get them straight to the treatment that hopefully gets them to a cure, or at least a longer life. In addition to the Hologic Thin Prep technology, I brought on the Hologic Panther technology, which is a molecular platform that we have right here in our laboratory at First Health, where we can test for the RNA component of the HPV virus and use that to help screen women for cervical cancer. Now, as I've been here for First Health for a number of years, we are building a new regional cancer center and so as part of our expansion of the lab for that, I've had our laboratory here at First Health partner with Neogenomics Laboratory, and they are a molecular laboratory that partners with smaller hospital laboratories and helps us when we need to expand testing, but also backs us up when we're still trying to get to that point of expansion. So my hope is in the future, we're able to expand some of our molecular abilities here, but in the meantime, we're able to offer all of those tests through our partnership. The importance of bringing on molecular testing for cancer diagnostics is that we can test those tissues at the molecular level and then offer that patient a very individualized treatment for their cancer. First Health is a wonderful combination of both a community-centered medical center, but also we do things at a caliber very close to what we did at academic centers such as UNC. Having been a physician at a major academic institution before, I've seen that difference just personally on um, working every day. And I also have unfortunately experienced it personally with a son who was diagnosed with cancer three years ago. And due to the fact that we are a smaller community hospital, had to get treated at a larger academic center. And while he got the best care, it did not feel as personal to me as I've seen friends and family have here. I like being in the community practice and treating the people that are living um, and going to school and to the grocery store and the post office with me. Um, I feel that for my personality, I was particularly suited to it and I can't think of any better job, really. Mm -hmm.